everyone i am dr shrivanala today's topic is moniliasis or candidiasis candidiasis or moniliasis is the infection of skin mucosa and rarely of the internal organs caused by candida albicans causative agent candida albicans is the normal inhabitant of gastrointestinal tract oral and vaginal cavities two forms of candida albicans are recognized and both are gram positive spherical or ovoid budding cells of 2 to 3 cross 5 to 6 mm size these are yeast or y forms elongated filamentous cells joined end to end resembling hyphae and producing spores predisposing factors diabetes mellitus immunodeficiency malignancy general uh, debility long course broad spectrum antibiotics indwelling urinary or intravenous catheters prematurity lesions superficial lesions mucous membrane infection of mouth oral thrush occurs most frequently in infancy and old age it is characterized by the development of discrete white patches on the mucosal surface intestinal candida candidiosis is a sequel of oral antibiotic therapy presenting as diarrhea vaginal thrush characterized by typical white lesions usually develops on epithelial surfaces of vulva vagina and cervix balbentus in male may occur following sexual contact skin infection of the skin usually occurs in sites that may become abnormally moist and warm such as axilla groin perineum submammary folds and toe cleft the lesions of the cutaneous candidiasis are erythematous scaling or moist lesions with sharply demarcated borders where popular lesions are most prominent nails infection of finger webs nail folds and nails occur as reddened swelling resembling pyogenic paranoia commonly seen in people frequently immersing their hands in water chronic mucocutaneous candidiosis it is rare form of uh, intractable disfiguring condition of face and scalp and usually becomes apparent in childhood systemic candidiasis it is usually encountered with serious abnormality of the host and in certain group of hospitalized patients particularly in overgrowth of commensal yeast in mouth and gastrointestinal tract in association with antibiotic and steroid therapy the infection may be widely disseminated and leading to infection of kidney and brain associated with septicemia candida endocarditis follows surgery of heart valves in pre-existing diseases like tuberculosis cancer internal organs like lungs kidneys and other organs may be secondarily invaded laboratory diagnosis direct examination scrapings from the lesions of skin nails or mucosa are examined in a wet film in potassium hydroxide or gram stain smear the candida albicans appear as budding yeast cells pseudomycelium is present in most cases culture specimens are inoculated on this saboroids dextrose chloramphenicol agar medium at 25 to 37 degree centigrade for 24 hours candida produces creamy white smooth colonies with a yeasty odor the candida albicans is identified by germ tubes candida is uh, candida is grown in human serum at 37 degree centigrade for 3 hours a wet potassium hydroxide film show filamentous outgrowths reynolds brodeb phenomenon chlamydospores these develop in a nutritionally poor medium such as corn meal agar at 28 degree centigrade biochemical reactions candida albicans can be identified by the assimilation and fermentation of sugar serology candida albicans can be identified by the precipitation test with a carbohydrate extract of group a antigens antigen detection it is done by elisa and ria which detects cell wall mannan or cytoplasmic constituents skin test delayed hypersensitivity to candida extracts is a useful indicator of functional integrity of cmi animal inoculation candida albicans kill the animal rapid gunia pig and mice in 4 to 5 days with typical renal abscess on intravenous inoculation 
treatment management is mainly by removing the predisposing causes as candida is resistant to all antibiotics superficial infections topical application of nystatin or imidazole systemic infections amphotericin b along with flu cytosine thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe